Greetings from Bangladesh. I, as the chairman of GMAC, warmly welcome you to today's roundtable, in particular the discussion on the GMAC's brief on climate change and security in South Asia, a brief that has been published by GMAC, and the discussion that we'll have will center around this now. I would like to mention that South Asia as a region is on the front line of the threats from climate change. All sorts of threats starting from water to food security, to health security, to habitation, and to migration are greatly threatened by the impacts of climate change in South Asia. All countries in South Asia from Bangladesh to India to Pakistan and other countries are equally threatened. In the series of briefs and analysis, GMAC has now published a brief on South Asia. We had previously covered Africa and will subsequently publish our analysis on other regions of the world. In publishing this report, we had jointly authored this report by three authors from three different countries. Myself from Bangladesh, General Ghazi from Pakistan, and Air Marshal A.K. Singh from India. So this is a jointly authored paper. In this paper, we try to highlight the great threats from the various sectors that I mentioned that are facing this, particularly these three countries, and try to analyze and show our findings are showing that most countries will have grave consequences. We are already beginning to see many of the impacts of the grave consequences of climate change in our own region, in our countries. For example, my own country, Bangladesh, are facing severe challenges from the issues of water security, from disaster security, from salinization, and from the potential of migration, both in the scale of IDPs and subsequently large-scale external migration. Pakistan has had share of its own disaster management problems in the form of severe flooding. India, at the same time, had severe flooding and also the problems of drought in many parts of the country. So we are already facing the grave challenges that I mentioned, and this is likely to aggravate in the future. We are therefore suggesting that these are common problems of the region, and therefore, we will have to have a cooperative approach to solving the problems. Unless we do that, many of the problems will be aggravated in a manner that they can become unmanageable. We are already seeing many of the cases in South Asia where the problems are becoming so severe that they also bear conflict potential. For example, the recent Indus Treaty, which is under stress between India and Pakistan, is a potential area of conflict in the region. We are also seeing the potential tension between China and India over the Bomaputra water sharing issues. So therefore, many of the climate change impact areas have great potential for conflict, and they have to be banished in a cooperative manner among the countries of the region. We are therefore asking all countries of the region to study and analyze the problems and find out common solutions so that we can solve the problem in a manner that we don't have the potential for conflict. I'm again saying that a warm welcome to all of you to the round table today. And as chairman of GMAC, I wish and hope that you have a fruitful discussion today. Thank you.